folks at home, folks at home, you can find it online. All right. Good morning, everyone, to Art with Liz. We're just talking about some scientific research that has come out recently. I've been talking with the folks here at the library about the fact that they are proving if you make a gratitude list every day, it will improve your health and the quality of your life. So I'm going to start out today by saying how grateful I am to the Hoboken Public Library for allowing us to have these hybrid art classes. It is such a unique opportunity for all of us during this time of COVID and pandemic that we are still struggling through to have the option to work either here at the library or at home. All right, so today, it's so thrilling. This is our final class. Good morning, Daniel. Our final class of 2022. I, I don't know, there's something about the magic of the new year and the possibilities that are coming up in the new year that always gets me incredibly excited. So ending the year with art, I think is a great way to go out. Before we begin the class, I do have an announcement to make. On February 3rd, Ibu Ndoi will be having a workshop here at the Hoboken Public Library. I believe it is a Saturday, February 3rd. And the time of the class is, could somebody tell me please? 11 a.m.? 10 a.m. It's a Friday, forgive me. 10 a.m. on a Friday here at the Hoboken Library. It will be a reverse glass painting workshop, which I know several of you have done with him before. This one's going to have a bit of a new twist to it. I'm not going to do a spoiler and let you know what that twist is. I want to encourage everyone to come to work with him and find out on your own what we're going to be doing. That's new. So Eva and Doi, Reverse Glass Painting Workshop on February 3rd here at the Hoboken Public Library. All right. Today, our final class of 2022, as I said, and our final class for December, where we're looking at art as a gift. We're going to talk about an artist who some people may find incredibly controversial. I was hoping Mika was going to be here today because she knows quite a bit about this artist. Um, but she is not here. This artist is a Japanese artist named Yoshitomo Nara. And Mr. Nara is a pop artist. He's classified as a pop artist. I'm going to put up a picture of his work. And we're going to look at, discuss, Oops, now I did that wrong. Sorry, everyone. Forgot to hit share screen. I forget that folks at home can't see what I'm doing here at the library. I feel so close to you that sometimes I forget that you're on Zoom. All right, folks at home, you can see this, correct? Yep. <laughs> well, folks here, I know you can see it. That's great. <laughs> Eileen, yes, I'm with you. Yes. What planet am I on this morning? All right. Thank you, Vanessa, for the thumbs up. That really helps me. All right. Unfortunately, the toolbar, again, as usual, is in the way. That's about as far as I can move it. All right. So, Yoshitomo Nara. He was born in 1959 
in Japan. He studied in Germany where he got a master's of fine art. And as I mentioned, he is a pop artist. Think back to other pop artists we've talked about, Andy Warhol being probably the most famous pop artist in the world. Pop artists are artists who take commercial imagery, graphic imagery, and use it in their art. Now, Nara says he was not influenced by commercial Japanese imagery in his work, but I think it's kind of hard to deny that he probably was because to me, there's a lot of reference in his images to what is called manga. Manga is a kind of Japanese, for lack of a better word, cartoon imagery. And he loves to paint these little girls with big eyes. And his work is greatly loved in Japan. People really, really, really love his work. In fact, it sells for millions and millions of dollars. And he is quite popular here in the United States as well. So he says Japanese culture has been an influence, but not a huge influence on his work. In fact, he says that American culture has been a much more direct influence on what he does. In particular, punk rock. So he listened to a lot of punk rock in his adolescence, and it really left a lasting impact on what he does. So he does these big-headed girls, like I said. He often does animals in these very confident, cartoonish lines. They're often pastel colored, and there's hardly ever any background. Even though the kids look cute, right? This is a very cute looking child. There's a disturbing quality to the imagery for me. I look at this and it creeps me out a little. Heather. Demonic to me. Heather says she looks demonic. All right. Sometimes they even carry weapons, knives and saws, and often their eyes look irritated as if they were woken from a, a nap unexpectedly, which is making them very, very cranky. And he hasn't said this, but art critics have philosophized or conjectured, is that a word, conjectured? Have made conjecture that because he grew up in post-World War II Japan, this is his reaction to the horrors of war and the frustrations and, and the awfulness of Japanese life after they were conquered by the Americans and all of the hideousness, think about living through post-World War II in Japan, what the Japanese people were subjected to. So there is a lot of thought about the fact that the bizarreness of his imagery is speaking to the fact that people suffered so much after World War II. He did love comic books. He loved Warner Brothers and Walt Disney animation, which makes sense when you look at his work. And another interesting thing about Nara was when he grew up, he grew up pretty much alone. His family lived in a very isolated region and both of his parents worked full time. So he is what we call here in the US a latchkey kid. So because he spent so many hours alone, he 
had an imagination that went wild. And that really helped him to create this imagery. It's kind of the word populate is here in what I'm reading about him. It's helped him populate his work with these very young characters. They probably kept him company is what I'm thinking. His newest work, which he started showing at the Pace Gallery in New York in 2017, has a little bit of shift towards a more meditative imagery. And Nara says, this is a direct quote, in the past, I would have an image that I wanted to create and I would just do it. I would just get it finished. Now I take my time and work slowly and build up all these layers to find the best way, just like you cook so that you know it's going to be the most delicious. You find a way to make your art the best it can be. So I thought that was an interesting quote. The imagery to me has not changed all that much though from his newer and older work. Maybe those of you, I see people here are scrolling through their phones. Maybe you can find out more about the changes in his work. Let's look at a few more images. And if you have thoughts or comments or opinions, please share with us. What am I doing? All of a sudden, oh, here, stop share. So this is just a sample of his work that I've chosen. I always invite you guys to look for more. Reminds me very much of the Keen paintings, remember? And I love that movie about that artist's life. It was very interesting, wasn't it? Any thoughts on this picture? Like it? Don't like it? Is it art? Is it not art? I believe his paintings are very, very, very large. Mural size. No, I, I don't think there are any eyebrows. Eyelashes. Looks like an amphibian. I love that. Like a lizard. Okay. She does look bloodless and cold, doesn't she? There's no warmth to this imagery at all. I'm sorry, Jane. She's angry. Angry. Miserable. This child looks completely miserable to me. Sad. Sad. Lonely. Yes. Definitely, definitely well thought out. Yep. The graphic layout of these images is very, very planned. I like that idea. Yes. Someone's talking to me in the chat. Thank you, Laura. The eyes are very creepy, says E. Oh, E also thinks it looks reptilian. Cool. Is this one painting or two I believe this is two images, but it's an installation. There's, they're meant to hang side by side. To me, it looks like the same little girl. Yeah. 
one with the eyes open and one with the eyes closed. I do love the shapes. I'm with you, Dina. I think the composition is very pleasing. The negative shape of the background. I really love the curves. All of the, the repetition of the curves in this piece, I find very beautiful. It looks like the Russian stacking dolls, you know, the little dolls with smaller dolls inside. Good, nice observations. Okay, let's look at a few more. Here's the composition I really like. I thought it was something else. <laughs> what did you think it was, Jen? I thought it was a boob. A boob. <laughs> when it was small, it wasn't that big. <laughs> <laughs> Which leads me to the beauty of shapes yeah. when you expand or enlarge shapes, they lose their meaning and they become just shapes and they're so beautiful but this ha also has a definite sense of foreboding and a looming quality to it for me looming, looming because it, everything is so large and i don't know it feels a little <laughs> threatening to me this image Uh, so, he yeah. works in acrylic. This made me think of um, Alex Castro. Yeah. Yeah. Van Gogh's. Alex Castro. Because of the shapes and the scale. Yeah. Female faces, simplistic. Okay. All right, I like that comparison. But really beautiful shapes, right? I love the negative shape in the eye here, underneath the eyeball. It's really, really very satisfying to me, the blue shape of the background. I got a chatter. I can't read the chat when I, oh, yes, I can. Nothing in my chest. Yeah. No, he does occasionally do boys, Stephanie. Yeah. Yes. But mainly girls. And animals. Sometimes he does animals. I love this painting. Mm -hmm. And look how the... Um... Yeah. Um, where the, the, the air is almost like here. Yeah. This little tiny blue space here yeah, is no, really no, nice. No. Um, Margo, he was born in 1959 and he's still alive. He's alive and kicking. Thanks. You're welcome, Marco. I didn't really hear what you said. So. A bit mysterious. It feels scary. Well, it's, you know, it's like Tina said, it's all about the shape. Like if you took that eye out, that shape would still be it's a brilliant composition yeah yep it's not symmetrical for sure heather you're right she's looking at 
There's also some little bit of the spider that gets touched at the bottom of the screen. Yeah. It's yellow that I didn't notice before. Oh, here. Yeah. Yep. Part of the nose, maybe. Good eye, Jane. You can see another face if you look at the brown as the nose. Okay, yeah. This could be a profile, Vanessa. Is that what you mean? Oh, yeah, here's a blue face. Here's the forehead, a round nose. Yeah, it almost looks like the brown, like the bottom of that hair looks like a nose. Like it could almost be like she's got an eye patch on one side, like she doesn't have the the other eye. She, like a Picasso face. Yeah, like a Picasso face. Flattened out, abstract face. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Cool. I love this when we see new things. Awesome. All right, we're we're gonna look at one more picture and then I'm gonna tell you what our project options are for today. Whoops. Let's see, did, do I have a boy picture? This could be a boy. Hard to tell the gender. This one's gender fluid. What did I do? Sorry, guys. Hold on. I did something weird. No, we don't want this. Hold on. He does animals. Nobody can see this. Wait. Let's try again. You can see this now, right? Okay. So this could be a boy, I'm not sure. You know who this is reminding me? of all of a sudden is the still life artist, Mar Mirandi? Yes, because he is kind of obsessive about this almost one image that he keeps repeating over and over again. And his palette is relatively limited. But if you stop thinking about these as faces of children and just think about them as shapes, even still life, there's an affinity. They, yes. Yes, absolutely relate to Renaissance portraits. or later romantic art. Well, there's no, there's a specific not making any sense of the body. It's all about the image. Definitely the face is what he wants us to look at. There are no shoulders. Right. right. The shape of the face almost has more like movement. The nose is sort of different in the head. You see how it has that little bend to the right. That almost well, this child too is definitely ticked off, right? <laughs> you see, like, There's no you doubt see. about it that this child is miserable and unhappy, and I'm glad I'm not its mother. That's Thank the you. that's what I'm left with feeling. <laughs> Might be his inner child. Good point, Heather. 
More stuff in the chat. Okay, great. Thanks, Laura. Little Red Riding Hood, yep. An angry one, yep. Just realized the wolf swallowed grandma. I don't know. Maybe it is Little Red Riding Hood. We talked in this one. There was an article that we saw about when you visited the family. Yes, he had a huge retrospective. Yeah, and they, uh, they wrote that he was really fascinated with album covers. Yeah, he designed album covers for rock groups. Yep. And he was, I mean, heavily influenced by Walt Disney, so it could be Little Red Riding Hood. Why not? I don't know the title of any of these. Somebody could try and find out. All right. So let's talk about what we're going to do today. We have some options. I am delighted to have our model here today. So Elizabeth is going to be posing for us. Those of you who are inspired by Mr. Nara's work and his portraits, I'm inviting you today to do portraiture and you can work from life. I did in the email that I sent out over the weekend, ask folks to look through family photos and see if it evoked some kind of feeling for you. So the second choice you have today is to create an abstract image of the feeling that you're getting from looking at the old family photos. And finally, the third choice, if you want to copy one of the family photos and create an image that way, you may. So that's three big things. I'm not going to do a demonstration today. You may use any media that you like, although if you're drawing from life, I would recommend you start out with pencil and then opt to use whatever else you like after you complete your sketches. Yesterday, we did something different. We didn't have Elizabeth uh, do quick poses. And I think, Elizabeth, since today we're going to do portraiture, I think we're going to skip the warm ups as well. And you can just get comfy. So there's not a good chair to sit in here, but we can always drag one over for you. Any questions about the assignment for today? We're all good to go. Those of you who are here, the materials are at the back table behind Jane, and the paper is on the window ledge. Those of you at home, take a few minutes to gather up what you need, and let's have some fun. Final fun for Art with Liz of 2022. Yeah, so just get comfortable, Elizabeth. Um, so, Laura, we're focusing on the face today. Can we bring the camera closer to her face? Yeah, maybe you could sit closer to the camera. <laughs> Yeah. 
Maybe I should do a demo, but I'm not gonna. So if you're going in the direction of abstraction and you're looking at a photo, think about Mr. Nara's approach. Simplify, think about shapes, think about darks and lights, think about how to make a strong composition. Try not to have it symmetrical, et cetera, et cetera. Those of you who are kind of stymied for ideas or don't know what direction to go in, I suggest that you start drawing Elizabeth just to get pencil to paper and it might prime your creative pump. Otherwise, have at it. So uh, Laura is working on setting up the camera. Those of you at home, we will have Elizabeth on the main screen momentarily. Good, people are getting set up. And here's Elizabeth. We're gonna put the focus on her. And I wanna take time for sharing at the end today because this is our final class. Okay, this is good. Um, Elizabeth, I'm sorry, I'm gonna ask that you not chew if that's possible. Yeah, been there, done that but it's gonna make it a little too challenging for folks. And maybe you can move up a little bit closer, Elizabeth. Those of you who are doing facial portrait work, if Elizabeth here in the library, and if Elizabeth is a little too close to you, you can look at the screen once Laura has the screen set up. Coming soon, guys, to a theater near you. Elizabeth, see if you can move even a little closer. Yeah, that's good. Um, but let's turn your chair. Can you stare straight ahead? Yeah. Those of you who are working profile, don't feel comfortable doing that. You can look at the screen. But if you want to learn how to do profile, go for it. And I'm going to come around and help. Let me check. Everyone at home, you can see if you need to see. Oops. Hold on. Not a problem. We're working on it. Laura is the best. And Elizabeth, we'll, we'll hold this for maybe 20 minutes. Is that okay? And then 
will change. Quite all right. I'm just grateful you're here to help. Yeah, guys, if you do full screen, you know how to do that, right? Click on the three dots. Elizabeth, could you maybe brush your bangs slightly off your eyes? Thank you. Perfect. If you don't want to do just the face, you can do full figure, practice your skill. So reviewing a little, remember the human face is an oval. Circle. Use shading to model the features of the face. Profile is challenging. Shapes change. Great. So everyone at home, you heard the options for what you're doing today. Anybody have any questions? No? Chat is empty. Thank you. 
Everybody at home, copacetic. E, you good? Stephanie, you still with us? Pat, you okay? Robin's working. Margo, Teresa, you good? I'm good. Thanks. Everybody looks good. Okay. Sorry. 
Oh, in this poem. Five more minutes. Oops. Two minutes, a little over two minutes in this pose. You good, Elizabeth? Mm -hmm. Folks at home, a little over two minutes left. And we'll let Elizabeth wiggle around for a minute and then we'll do another 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
So we're going to let Elizabeth stretch. Then we're going to start a new pose. So, I have a, I'd like to 
All right, Laura somehow got knocked out, folks at home, but we're putting her back in. Oh, bye, Stephanie. Happy New Year. Woohoo. Speaking of family photos, Susan, is this a picture of you on the wall behind you? Yes, that was me at like two and a half. It's adorable. I have the yeah. same haircut, kids. Oh, God, the bangs up to here. Every picture. It's My own. My uncle took that photo. Uh, he was a photographer, and then they paint over it. That was the, you yeah. know, what they did. Yeah. Elizabeth, yeah, that's good. Everybody at home able to see Elizabeth now? Susan's nodding yes. Okay. So let's begin. This will be 20 minutes. And then we'll decide um, if we want to have long sharing or if we want to do one short pose and short sharing. But I would like to share because it is our final class of the year. I want to check in with everybody. You're comfy, Elizabeth?
We got it at home. Robin's painting. Susan, you need my advice? You or you okay. You do. Yeah, 
as an immigrant than that. That's a great way to make it. I'm not really smart by working on it well. It's doing great. Who are my home artists? Doing good. Okay. A little over five minutes left on this post. Thank you. 
<laughs> Teresa, are you good? Yes. Um, we're down to seconds now, 41 seconds. And 30 seconds left in this pose, just 30 seconds. That's what we're going to do. 
Final long pose, Elizabeth is taking a quick break and then she's going to come back. We're going to do one final long pose. And then we'll say, Oh, Elizabeth, you're back already. How'd that happen? Speedy. All right. Thank you for facing the other direction. So this is going to be another 20 minute, Elizabeth. You can do that. You're good. Wow, we're working hard today. Comfortable, Liz? All right, let's begin. This is the final pose of 2022. And when we're done with this pose, I want everyone to look through what you've created today or last class and choose something that you'd like to share. That's going to be our gift to each other. Not going to force folks to share, but now those of you who are looking at Elizabeth's Oh, <laughs> 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 Thank mm -hmm. 
got it we good at home we're hanging in we're having fun we're creating trying but cats are getting in the way <laughs> cats can't live with them can't live without them yeah he did, Nara did cats, you should look it up. He did cats and dogs. He does cats and dogs. They're really cool. And I never found it. I've 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 never found
Um, Elizabeth, four minutes to go. Four minutes to go on this pose. Oh, good, Margo. Did you find any cats you like? I haven't looked yet, but I will look. Oh, okay. I think you're gonna like his cat. I get mine down for a nap. You can put your cats down for a nap? <laughs> Seriously? They go, they go down for a nap, but I mean, before they go down, they get very needy. <laughs> Okay. Because <laughs> I really missed some cat. Uh, I lost my dog this year. Occasional <laughs> 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 They're not free meals here. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, uh, I use the electronic one. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I saw that. I love that. So one. sad, though. See, he always has sad. I think it was called Kaput, like a Kaput dog. Like he's he's pooped. <laughs> I love the tail. Very cute. <laughs> So Thanks, Vanessa. Okay, we're down to 18 seconds, everybody. Oops, back to focus. Where is my Zoom? I'm now out of Zoom, Laura. But I've lost Elizabeth. And we need that camera for sharing. Thank you, Elizabeth. Woohoo! Let's give. Elizabeth, a big round of Happy New Year applause. Woohoo! Thank it's you, Elizabeth. Very hard to pose. Thank you. So hard to sit still, Elizabeth. You're the best. Thank you. So now we're going to share. Laura's got to adjust the camera. Can I what? I. I don't seem to have Zoom at all anymore, except for, you know, I've lost. There you are. You're there. I'm trying to put me in spotlight, but I can't. So I have no access to chat at the moment. Whoop, now I'm completely gone. Au revoir. Which window? See, I knew I shouldn't have opened that link. <laughs> What's this? Should I click on this person icon? Chat with bot, no thank you. Let's see what's happening. Just um, I've been trying to spotlight again. No, let's get out of this window here in the upper right corner there. Can you minimize that? What window? I'm only in one window. All right, let me. You, Laura's going to play around here for a minute. Let me give it a try. Start choosing the image you want to share. That should be spotlighted. I don't know why you're in. Let's see what's happening. It's me. I don't know what the heck happened here. Hold on, let's go back. Uh, open launch meeting below. Let's see if that helps you. Something happened to that camera. Bye, Elizabeth. No, the camera's still on. Happy New Year. Thank you. Thank you for all your hard work in 2023. See you next year. Let's ask everyone. Can everyone see the camera, the red stool in the image? Yes, everybody can see. You just can't see it. Okay. All right. So, so let's start sharing. We can still share because I can see it on my computer. But how are we going to see their work at home? Uh, oh, that's true. Um, meanwhile, you can start sharing. All right. At home. Folks at home, we're going to start sharing work here. First. We're going to start with Tamara. Do you have a favorite you want to share? So portrait here. I, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can't I can see that it's showing up in the we can see it, Liz. Right. You guys at home can see it. Looks it. great. Wow. Really great day. Beautiful. Yeah. What are we looking at? Great. Awesome. Great job, Tamara. <laughs> Beautiful. Awesome. Daniel, next, do you have a favorite? Right. 
Very nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Looks great. Great capture. <clears throat> Oh, it's beautiful, wow. terrific, wonderful. Love it. Love I the love shape. It. Beautifully done. Out of everybody. And wait till you can stand. This is something to look like. This is my favorite. Oh, amazing. I love it. Artist style. Beautiful. So strong. Choice of color, fantastic. I love that it's not symmetrical. Can I show both? Yes, All right, this is Eileen. Look at the ambitious project she's working on. Mm. Wow. Um, you go, girl. <laughs> That's awesome. You and I picked similar pictures. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's Heather. You love that. Fabulous. Pastels. Right. Thank you. Also, the one you're liking best. I Dina, two portraits of Elizabeth. Wow. Or a little bit. There you go. Wonderful. Beautiful. Color. Beautiful. Fantastic. Beautiful. Love the sketch on the, on the left.
can be live on Zoom, so you can do it from home as well. Big plus. Do we have to bring any? No. No, folks at home, I'll be sending out an email about what you can do. All right, folks at home, you are on camera. Who are we going to start with today? Folks here at the library, if you could listen up. Robin, mm -hmm. you're first in my queue. Okay. I did some weird things today. Yes. <laughs> weird is wonderful in the wacky world of art. I, I, but I, I just want to show you my favorite thing that I did in class, but any another class. But anyway, I just uh, had these boards from my kitty cat food box and painted them. And I wanted to do um, just make lines and make people and see what kind of attitude and feeling they had. And then when I turned it up like this, I thought that was pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like this. Vanessa's got in the chat, I love these, Robin. Mm -hmm. Guys, then, really, I like what happened on the yeah. edge of the red shape. This, the this one, effect you've got going there is very interesting. Yeah. And, really and nice. Nice. This, this, these people just appeared, and there was a third one. But anyway. Are they paintings or collage? No, they're, they're actually acrylic, which I don't usually work in, but I, you know, and then there was one, wait a second. This guy came out like this, and then of course it goes into something else. So it was just really all experimental, but I, I just want to show you this one drawing that I did a couple of weeks ago. And oh. I showed oh. you a picture of a woman who's about to have a baby. So oh. this, this is she and her husband. And I mm. thought, I love the feeling between the two of There's them. There's a lot of emotion in this, yes. Yeah. So that that was what for the year I like that the best. So thank thanks. Everybody's work is lovely. Thank you. Yay, Robin. Okay, somehow I've lost my pictures of all my participants. Uh Margo, you're next. Can you get on camera, Margo? Oh, here there we are. <laughs> It's my source photo, and this is how far I got. <laughs> oh, how cool is this? Oh, oh Marco, uh, is this you with your hand up in the middle? What? Is this child in the middle with your hand up? Oh, which one am I? I'm the one next to her. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> is that Dina with the hand up? Yes, Dina has her hand up, yes. That's my baby sister sitting next to me and my two brothers. So, yeah. who's, the, who's the person with the elbows? Dina. Dina. Oh. Dina. Dina, not Gracia. <laughs> okay. So this is you. This right here is me. And who's the child with the hand up? Tina. So who's the person like this? That's Tina. Right. The other right. Tina. This is Dina. Yes. Pam. Who's, who? Pam, my little sister. Oh, I didn't know you had another sister. <laughs> oh, brother. I love this picture. And your two brothers. And your drawing is great. Can't wait to see it when it's done. Keep going. I love the expression on the face. Woohoo! Good for you. Thank you. You really challenged yourself today. Awesome. All right. Who's next? Susan. Okay. Oh, wow. Wow. You really can't. Oh, this. yeah. This is you turned Elizabeth into a Nara. Yes, oh. right. <laughs> Asian version. <laughs> I like the dark, very dark darks that you've used. They're really nice. Oh, thank you. What was what was that date again for Ibu? February 3rd. Oh, February. Okay, thank you. you. Need a little more dark behind the head. Yeah, I didn't finish it yet. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. Thank you. Well done, Susan. Yay. Wow, what a productive day we had today. So thrilled. Who's next? 
Pat, are you going to show? I know you're not feeling well, but we would love to see your work if that's possible. Hi, Liz. Um, I changed my profile to the uh, picture I did, if you can see it. Okay. Oh, you sound yes. not good. <laughs> I don't know how to make it bigger, though. Do you know how to do that, Laura, her profile picture? Um, maybe you pen me. Do you I see it? I mm. don't think they can pin you if you're not on camera. Co-host, but I don't know how to do it. Let's see. Uh, pin myself. Nope. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> it's okay. Can you see it? It's just fun it's to do. Just it's just It's oh, wait, beautiful. Wait, wait. Uh, it is fabulous. It does <laughs> look great. You know what? Send me a JPEG and can I share the JPEG with everyone? Sure. I do you want me email? I texted you. Uh, I, I don't know how to do it in text, so email me. Okay. And I'll send it out later today. Okay. Feel better, Pat. Oh, sound dreadful. Thank you. Mm. Oh. Teresa, you're up. Hey, quickly, I have my daughter and grandson turned into demonic beings. Ah! <laughs> and I have this, I was like, uh, this, this. And I love oh. it. Great. Oh, well done. Thank you. Bravo. I love the demonic beings. That's scary. They look just like Nora's. We're all going to get so rich. Mm hmm we're going to be Nara impersonators. I'm so glad you're with us today, Teresa. I'm glad to be here. Thank you, everyone. And Amy, for... you can't get on camera, so I guess that covers. I don't know what I do with my phone. So, what time is it? Oh, it's exactly twelve noon. All right. <laughs> see you next year, everyone. It's Thank you. Art films. Thank you. Exciting program for January and February already. Lots of stuff lined up for us to do. Love you guys. Be safe. Thank you. Be well. Bye, everyone. Don't Bye -bye. forget to do your surveys and see you all soon.